I'm Marcel James. We are live at NAMM 2017, Anaheim, California. My good friend Dory LaBelle from The Voice playing some guitar for us here at the booth. Um, welcome to NAMM. We've been showing our new Orion 32 HD. We've been showing off our Zen Tour interface. So Dory and I met when he put together the band for uh, uh, Tori Kelly. And uh, an amazing band, by the way. Tori's a, uh, a spectacular performer and artist herself, but the band around her is, is equally impressive. And uh, Dory plays guitar and, and uh, does some uh, guitar music direction for the, the contestants on The Voice. Is that uh, fair enough? Or you? No, the, on The Voice, I only play guitar. Okay, okay. okay. But, but The Voice tour is what you're thinking of. Okay, uh, all right. Well, well, tell us a little bit more. I'll expand on that and, and what you, how you, how we connected with Antelope. So. I moved to LA about uh, 2003, what is it, We're getting old, uh, 14 years ago. And uh, I did a lot of work touring as a guitar player, musical director, a lot of artists, uh, Backstreet Boys, Colby Calais, did, um, I just did the recent Damien Marley record. Uh, for the last five years I've been working as one of the guitar players on The Voice, so that's been really cool, alongside Justin Derrico and Dave Barry, who are fantastic guitar players. And through that also, our musical director, Paul Mirkovich on The Voice, uh, does a lot of MDing work, so I've been doing some stuff with him. That's how we did the Tori Kelly stuff. And uh, I've used, I do a lot of production and writing, and I'm really interested in the recording, that whole side of things. And finally now, I've had some friends I mentioned before, one of my good friends, Brian Siono, who's a musical director for Jennifer Lopez, an amazing bass player. Uh, and so he has a serious studio of his own. He told me that I have to switch over to Antelope stuff, and he was making fun of me for the converters I was using, which are which were fine, I thought. But I was I made the the leap and, and uh, reached out to Marcel. We started talking. We put together the rig for Tori Kelly, which he still uses, probably will use for years and years. Uh, she has two Orion 32s on tour. Uh, since then, I I now have the Orion studio. Decided to to check out the Zen tour. And uh, right now we're talking about, aside from the fact, of course, that everyone knows that Antelope's converters and clocking is just amazing, uh, they have the new, the new units, there are almost all the new stuff coming out. Basically, from what I understood, it's uh, unlike these speeds, hardware on the circuit board is dedicated to run these specific algorithms, so there's absolutely zero latency. And what it is, is uh, similar to how other companies have some stuff that runs on the interface or on the satellite, uh, you have a dedicated effect processor, these, all these interfaces, new ones, have that built in. So basically you can load up plugins and uh, they're completely real-time with guitar amp models, EQs and compressors, and uh, they really do sound great, they feel great, they feel like you're just playing an amp, you know, the response is, is immediate. So here we're just running through different sounds. I'll come. So the harder he's playing, the more it's overdriving that amp. and say it feels exactly like that, but it really feels like you're just playing. It makes you want to play. That's the, most, the biggest test, you know? So, uh, you know, we're adding uh, like one or two samples when you add one of these uh, effects processors, so you're really not getting any change in the, the latency reaction. Yeah, it really does sound good. So that Vox style sound, right? Yeah, the, the main thing 
thing that's cool about it is um, that you can actually route the, the affected amp sound to a different input of your DAW, or, you know, if you're running Logic or Pro Tools or whatever, and so you can get in one go, you just hit record on your, on your DAW, it just feels weird to say DAW, uh, <laughs> D-A-W. Uh, so you get one channel of the affected amp, or you can do a, a few different ones, and you can also get basically your DI tracks if you're, you know, getting a DI signal to reamp in the studio. So the new control panel, I'm actually excited to check out the new Matrix. It gives you a lot of options. It's basically a virtual, you know, little um, patch bit within your computer. So that's what's cool. So you're not really limited to using these sounds after the fact. You can record something that sounds good to you, then you can reamp it through the through the computer with plugins. So that's what I'm excited most about, you know, to start experimenting. You know, he's talking about being able to drag and drop mm. the dry DI channels yeah. and print those to the to the DAW or the recording software, and then also drag these affected channels, print those on separate channels. And that also gives you another opportunity to take those dry channels later and go through real pedals and amps and the, with the reamp outputs. And these are transformer reamp outputs as well. Yeah. So thanks, Dory. Thanks, uh, thanks, Facebook guys for for uh, tuning in.